Welcome back, fellow gamers and enthusiasts. I'm Storm Mario City. We're back here in Subnautica. I took my little break and now I'm back again. That's probably just going to be a normal thing to happen. So, uh, previously, um, well, uh, rip, rip the sunbeam. That's, that's pretty much what you can say, sadly. Um, and then we also found an alien facility with some information about stuff, and then we also tried to scan a fucking, uh, these birds. You know, I just realized, that's a pretty powerful light. We're getting diamonds from here, so, I guess that's fine. And lithium. Gotta watch out for the head crabs. That's not their name, but played enough Half-Life, that's what you're gonna fucking call them. Okay, you little bitch. I need something to drink. It's your Ion Cube. Uh, um, <laughs> we've got the technology. What a nice loading screen you got here. Kind of like a loading screen. Island. This is an endless void of just wormholes. What? What the hell are we? Well, we know we're on the island now. How do we leave the cave? Is this a cave? That's ominous. Why do we have to come here at night? <laughs> it's fucking scary. Alright, we need to remember this place. Okay. So... To that... Okay. Probably going to forget where the fucking entrance to the cave is, sadly. And spend like half an hour trying to find it. A uh, Voltic shrub, a pink leaf plant with an angular appearance which glows. Exclusively on land. Grows. Sorry. <sighs> I wish it was daytime so I can see. Oh, it's becoming daytime. Oh, I still can't see. Oh. There's also that down there, okay. It's a lot easier to see shit when you can have the fucking light on. The fucking light on. 
I mean, technicality, yeah, yeah. That is right. I mean, games are like that. Ooh, a stasis rifle? Mind if I do. Oh, what's in here? Water. Integrating new PDA data. It's number three, so we don't want to read it yet. Because it's number three. Bulkhead door. The bulkhead door is designed to separate compartments while reinforcing structural integrity, which is solid titanium frame. The door can be opened and closed to seal off compartments in the event of a fire or flooding, or simply for privacy. Well, pfft. since I do not have anybody to fucking worry about, I don't have to worry about that. Uh, Spotlight, a permanent lighting solution developed for installation on existing habitats and facilities. Automatic rotate automatically rotates on a 180 degree arc. Motion sensitive will track nearby moving objects and draw electric electricity from main power. Interior grow bed. Designed for use exclusively inside regulated habit habitat modules, the interior grow bed is more compact than the out outdoor version and features a hydroponic nutrient delivery system. Grab, grub ba basket. Uh, orange color and land plant which usually consists of thick, protein rich sludge in its base. This may suggest a carnivorous life cycle, which grabs and uh, gra gr grubs and insects are attracted to bright petals, making their way into the center of the plant. But they are unable to scale back up the slick inner leaves and are ultimately digested. So it's a Venus fly plant, a uh, fly trap, a lantern tree, lantern tree, uh, Kong. Glamoration of individual vines which rely on one on one another for structural support. Grows exclusively on fertile land. Each vine produces orange uh, lantern shaped fruits with minimal nutrients and hydra hy hydration value. Assessment edible in emergency. Okay. What about this fern plant? Uh, this specimen was first in, uh, identified in an artificial grow bed on the island. It is not listed in the existing flora da database, so it's unclear whether or not this is a native species to this plant. Genetic code shares some features uh, with other local plant life, but this may be the result of DNA transfusion rather than natural evolution. How much food does this give? Observatory. Gonna run out of power. New blueprint acquired. I guess I guess it's self-explanatory to be honest. Jaffa cup. Uh, common land fungus found in clusters grows quickly. Size is limited only by the space, the space and nutrients. Okay. So is, it, is that everything up here? We gotta go down there. It's fucking head crabs. I don't give a shit. I'm gonna call them head crabs because they're fucking head crabs. Okay, that's... <laughs> oh, now we can get a stasis rifle. New 
Radio transmission. Uh, exterior grow bed. Advanced synth synthetic soil allow allow this grow grow bed. Grow bed to support a huge variety and quantity of alien plant life, and it is can be installed anywhere on land or underwater if there's space. Uh, marble plant. Marble melon plant. This plant collects water from the air rather than recycling it. Relying on its root system, it provides large fleshy fruits, which are both edible and have a and pedically high water content. Assessment edible high water content. Chinese potato. Uh, Chinese potato plant. The Chinese potato plant is common throughout the China territories, which synthesize food and still uh, segmented, and there remains large tracts of arable land on which grow fresh produce. Genetically designed prior to the expansion, this plant is highly adaptable to different environments. It is a sample of new colonies galaxy-wide. Assessment edible. Okay. Integrating new PDA data. A desk. New blueprint acquired. Multi purpose room. Hey. Motherfucker, I'm trying to scan this multi purpose. Yeah, this game wasn't designed to be realistically, uh... Ah, land-based combat. New blueprint acquired. What? Interior planters come in a variety of configurations and allow for most plant species to grow on some on, uh, numbers for decorative or uh, what a nautical use. Okay. <laughs> oh, battery, nice. Integrating new PDA data. Oh look, storm. <laughs> that was very transitional. New blueprint acquired. Ultra glide fins. Okay, so now we got uh the Gassi survivors marooned. Chief's log. Five weeks since the crash. The only other survivors are my son, Bart, and Mida, the cut price mercenary I commissioned for the journey. After days drifting in the life pod, rain hammering on the roof, the weather cleared and we washed up here. I had Mida salvage the Degazi wreck, set Bart to finding us a stable source of food. His education is paying off sooner than I'd anticipated. Our only problem is Mida. She says the weather's going to turn. I say she's finding excuses to risk our lives. I imagine she's not gonna weaken her life without a physical altercation, and she's itching for a fight. In every judgment she makes, things go from bad to worse. If she had my experience, she'd have more faith. Humans have spent millennia specializing in how to shackle nature to our will. This planet won't cause us any new problems. My one task now is to keep us alive as comfortably as possible until the insurance company arranges rescue. In this part of space, that could be months or even years. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Okay. Integrating new PDA data. Was I over here or over there? 
You know, I don't even know. So, let's hope. I don't think we've been over here. Well, let's just hope. <laughs> I don't want to go all the way up here and be like, well, actually, you're not supposed to be up here, boy. You're like, shit, man. The hell is that? ship and your kid says we're gonna starve without more grow beds speak up kid it's true father the natural growth rates are too slow to keep supporting us all i'm saying is oceans got Ooh. us surrounded no use hiding sooner or later we'll get our feet wet the rest of your life may have been a fight maida but i've made my decision you want to forfeit your emergency pay to take a swim go ahead believe me i'm thinking Okay. Son, I said wait for the storm to pass. Your life's more valuable to me than a plant patch. You stop being in charge when the ship you were captaining sunk. I'll stop being in charge when you take charge of yourself. Say, Chief. Chief! What? Do you know how to drain those grow beds of 40 tons of storm water? Or how to conjure food from the air? I know how to prioritize. I'm just saying, if that's so, what's your boy's life worth to you today? If tomorrow you're gonna be so hungry you start wondering what he tastes like, let him go deal with the plants. Yeah. Son, go deal with the plants. Bard, Torgo, has disembarked the habitat. Interfere with my family again, and when rescue arrives, I will leave you here. Do you understand me? No rescue coming, Chief. Not in time. No staying here, neither. This rain keeps falling. Sooner or later, this place will be buried. The only choice we got is whether to get buried with it. Okay. Aftermath. You see, Chief, you brought us to this sodden planet. Told us we'd see a lush payday. Now what do we got some six weeks later? A dead crew, a habitat that's half buried, food washed away. I suppose the executive decisions would be better left to someone with your extensive experience of hitting people in the face. I know enough not to take unscheduled detours to uncharted planets. That's something you don't want to learn the hard way. Easy to judge a decision in hindsight. Harder to come up with a plan of your own. Got one already. Take what we can carry and hunker down in a cave somewhere. I scouted a site, a couple hundred meters deep, lots of metal deposits. How do you imagine we'd live? With ready access to building materials, like damn queens. A couple of water filters, a bioreactor, fresh fish. But Chief, we'll eat seaweed salad and drink our own urine if that's what it takes. All that matters is, do you got something better? Send the coordinates to my PDA. I'll review your proposal. Hmm. Okay, yeah, now I'm trying to find the warp gate. I'm not going to take any of the plants yet. Because I don't have the room. So I'm going to... Just going to come back here later on. Uh, once I start building the plant beds. But we got to find... The uh, entrance to the cave, which I'm pretty sure is over here. It was by these, uh... What are these trees called? Huh? Do we have a name for these? I don't know. Oh, shit. It's dark now. Now, this is probably like the worst thing you could do. What is 
lost that thing? I don't know. I found it outside, in the sand. Uh, part of another ship? None I've ever seen. It's not even scratched. I, I, don't fool around with it. It might be worth something. Stand down, Chief. If it were gonna crumble to dust, it would have done so when I picked it up. It's glowing. We're not the first people to come to this planet. People? Maybe. Could be aliens. Could be the damn sea monsters for all we know. One thing for sure, we ain't gonna find out by staying here. Yeah, that's the purple tablet they found. This is the first time I've seen sunlight in months. After all that time in the deep, I'd been dreaming of it. Now that I'm back here, <sighs> I'm finding it hard to enjoy alone. Father was right. We should never have left this place. We shouldn't have gone so deep. They do not want us down there. Despite my best efforts, ill health is taking hold of me. The visions are getting worse. Marguerite and Father are now part of the ecosystem of this incredible planet. It's reassuring to know that when I go, I'll join them. Until then, well, there's always the view. Okay. So they died. And he was the last one. So they did go and leave. And I guess they died. And then he was the only one that was left. So he returned to the island. And uh, the virus that we have, or bacterium, is also killing him. So that's something. Okay. <laughs> Where do we find ourselves these things? Okay. Uh. So it was like 22 meters from the propo the dry land rendezvous coordinates. would have been much easier if we had fucking sunlight. Or we had something to mark things down and be like, yeah, we uh, started here. No, I'm gonna... Okay. Okay, 20 is 67. I mean, this is a nice view. I mean, I wish I knew where the fucking warp gate is. That's the name of it. <laughs> 